to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have some goodies from New Craft Day and want to thank New Craft Day for sending these to me. They've also given me a discount code that you can use for 12% off on any orders that you would like. So the first one that I have, it's in a box here. Really pretty box. And it is something that's off the canvas. If I can open it, we'll see what it is. First of all, we have these bag of drills. And these are posters. So we have your typical toolkit, a boat, a plate of wax and then you do have some baggies if you would like to store some of your drills in there. There is a coaster here for your storage and then you have, this is different, sorry for the sprinkling. You have your coasters here. I'm liking this. And you have, I'll explain in a minute. You have your coasters here. There are different ones. They're mandalas. Move this back so you can see. There's those two man man mandalas. Then you have these mandalas there. And then you have two more. So you have a total of six. Move all of these up so you want can see the majority of them. I think those are really pretty. And when you go to diamond paint, you there's, there is a plastic covering that's on here. And so you simply take this plastic cover, you will peel it back, and then that is where you're going to diamond paint. This will take a while because there's quite a bit on each one of these. And then what I find to be interesting, I have bought posters before, from other companies, but I have not seen this. I think I'm gonna need some scissors. Oh, there. Okay, to open this, this is where you're going to put your posters inside of this plastic. So that way, when your coaster is in here, then your coaster will not get any condensation on it. What I will still go ahead and do is once I finish this, I will still go ahead and seal these and then I will put them inside here. I don't want to close that because I'll probably never get it open, but that's what it's going to look like. So I'm really liking that. That is something that's different and that is a really good idea. So I have six of those. So I was worried when I have these coasters, most of the time I'll do them and they're, you know, for looks mainly because I'm afraid that if I use them, even by sealing them, that condensation from the glass is going to ruin the diamonds. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's my thinking. And this will work out perfect for that, to put that in my craft room. And then here are all of our drills. These are all special drills. There's some rhinestones in here. And then there's some what I like to call teardrops. Those are orange. Those are really pretty colors. I might even do that sometime in December. I didn't see these. These are the really large teardrops here. I might even try to get this done in December before the end of the year because this would be something I can do in the evenings when I am sitting watching TV. If not, and I definitely want to do them early in January because I would like to have those out in my craft room. I think that would look really nice and the colors go well with my, my decor and my craft room. So now I have two canvases. I may need to just leave a few. Here we go. I can get, I'm trying to get this where it's not so loud and crinkly. That's definitely one of the downsides with diamond painting and receiving so many items is that 
plastic is just overabundant in plastic for everything that we do. This, okay. So now I have, this is a cute snowman. It is small. Because this is poured glue, you're able to use this back, move this backwards, and then that way you can, it helps with the crinkling and it helps with getting this straighter. If you hear that, the sticky is really good. It does go over the side, so you'd want to use washi to cover that. But this is really cute. It's really small, but it's a snowman. And then here is the thumbnail. You have 16 colors. And this is a round kit. You have your standard tool kit, your boat, your plate of wax, and your pen. Here are the drills. And these are staticky. I can, they're just all stuck together. If you can see that, they're not even bouncing around. They're so bad. But I'll have to use a dryer sheet for this or use my handy dandy static guard. And um, some people now are saying to try using um, an alcohol swab. I haven't tried that yet, but I may try that one because I can tell it's going to be a lot of static. But these do come in baggies for this one. Now, the coasters didn't, but these come in baggies, so you can work out of baggies if you'd like to. I cannot work out of baggies, but they are very handy for those of you that can. And their drills look to be really good. Of course, you know, they're acrylic drills. It comes from a discount company. It's not going to be resin, but they make really cute, cute diamond paintings. And this one will not take very long. It looks like a lot of color blocking. I'm going to save this one and work on it sometime in the early part of the year when it's still winter and when I'm working on something that's confetti heavy and I'm able to just do this, not think about it, and at least have a finish. So there's that cute little snowman. I've really been into working on a lot of winter canvases lately. I guess not like me, but... I'm enjoying them. I thought this one was really cute. This canvas does feel extremely thin. The other one didn't, but this one feels really, really thin. But it is a partial. Partial meaning that there's only um, a partial section that you're going to diamond paint and you would diamond paint um, Santa Claus here, you would diamond paint this stop here, and then you would diamond paint the pictures that are down here, but you don't diamond paint anything in the center of this circle. This is a 30 by 30 centimeter um, with only 12 colors, and these are also special drills where you're going to have some rhinestones in there. So they're all rhinestones, but it's all Christmas colors. You can see the green, the red, and the gold in here. I would love to get this one done before Christmas. Um, I don't know again. I keep saying I want to get this done, this done, this done before Christmas. I'm hoping that I do. I, if I do have a completion, you will see that um, at the end of December, first part of January, where I have my month in review. So stay tuned. You may see um, some of these finished as well, if I can get what I'm working on now completed. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that um, you were able to take some time for yourself just to um, even listen and see if there's anything that you would like to order. Until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.